According to Michael Silver, the Packers have become, quote, exhausted with Aaron Rodgers when it comes to dealing with him. They may move on from the quarterback this offseason. According to the report, the days of Packers execs begging Rodgers to return are over. Hmm. All right, Shannon. Will Aaron Rodgers soon be a former Packer? You didn't read that first part, what you said. You said they have become what? The first part. Read that first part, what Exhausted. you said over again. Exhausted. Exhausted. Become? They will no longer Y'all become bet. that? <laughs> See, you, you mean to tell me y'all, y- y'all just getting to this point? <laughs> after five, six, seven, eight years of his indecisiveness, after him giving you his butt to care, I, I don't know, I think I'm going to go on a retreat, uh, you know, I'm going to drink some scotch, now I'm on tequila, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. This is what you should have done. You should have been put your foot down. He's the type of guy, the more you give, the more he'll take. And you've given, and he's taken, 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 and he hasn't reciprocated that. Oh, who wouldn't want a Super Bowl winning quarterback? Well, when the last time he won one? He's been underachieving the last three years. We know that for certain. Yep. He had home field, and all this indecisiveness is to try to do the misdirection. But Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp hold his feet to the fire. You can't fool us because all I do is keep my eye right here. I understand that you went on that retreat, but tell us about that game you lost to the Packers. I understand that you went to another and started hallucinating and you lost 25 pounds. <laughs> but tell us about that, what happened against Jimmy Garoppolo and the 49ers. Yep. And I also know all this, well, you know, I'm going to take some time, you know, this and that. And there's a conspiracy theory, you know, they're going to release the list of, 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 of Epstein, they're going release, to release that list. Mm-hmm. Tell us about that list, the <laughs> plays that you didn't make in the Detroit Lions game when you're at home, and if you win, you make the playoffs. Tell us about that list. Good point. All you do is talk about all that auxiliary and ancillary stuff. Let's talk about football. Keep it on the field. You got two MVPs in the last three years, and what does the Packer organization and the Packer nation have to show for it? Disappointment. Yep. Because I guarantee you, they are uh, 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 greatly disappointed with what transpired. Because when the rubber needed to meet the road, when all the chips were shoved to the middle of the table, you folded. You laid your hand down. So all this other stuff, you should have been tired, eBay. He been giving you his butt to kiss for the last four years, at least. But you know, y'all bet, Aaron, we really love you. You know, hey, we're sorry for taking that. We're, we're sorry for taking Jordan Love. Even though we like to do things, what we think is the best interest of the team, we should have consulted you. You should have consulted nothing. Mm. Aaron Rodgers don't pay one bill for the Packers organization. He don't pay one salary. Consulted for what? Because you see what he did. Aaron Rodgers need to move on. The Green Bay Packers need to move on. Both, t- both participants in this, he needs a change of scenery. They need, a new, they need a new quarterback to have a change of scenery also, Skip. This thing is so done. Stop going back and forth. You know, Gudekin saying this. We hadn't had conversations. We've had texts. Well, since you hadn't had conversations, just text him. Aaron, we're moving on <laughs> in a different direction. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. <sighs> okay. I hear everything you just said. Pretty much what I've been saying since you and I started on this show back in 2016 Heck, since I was on the other network going back five years before that. Blame deflecting finger pointing diva is Aaron Rodgers. Playoff choker since the Super Bowl is Aaron Rodgers. Underachiever, if you want to be nice about it, in the postseason. Now, we have seen repeated reports that the Packers have had enough. Even the ultimate insider of the Packers, Bob McGinn, the week we were off a couple of weeks back, he reported that they are completely done with him, with Aaron Rodgers, and and McGinn's been covering that team for 40 years. So Mm -hmm. I hear it. I see it. I feel it. Now it's time for Green Bay to have the guts to move on. Obviously, Aaron has to be in lockstep with this decision because they made the mistake. Again, a year ago, they gave him a three-year deal at $50 million a year. So they got two more years on this deal at $50 million that they owe him. So it's almost like a Westbrookian type situation where Green Bay needs somebody to take Aaron off their hands because 
The only way out from under this is if the Jets say, okay, we'll take on the $50 million. The sticking point is, okay, then what, what do you trade for Aaron Rodgers? Well, well, the point is Green Bay has made it so clear, so many insiders have made it so clear for them that they're done with Aaron. They have little to no leverage. So if I'm the Jets right now, I'm offering like a third round pick maybe. I don't know. And, and yeah. I keep reading that Green Bay wants two first round picks and blah, blah, blah. I'm begging you know, them. Nope, you can't. You, 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 yeah. The joke is on you. You gave him his money. He's 39. Yeah. He's going to be 40 years of age when he plays the final year of his contract. It's on you, Green Bay. You, you have to basically give him to somebody because they are taking him off your hands. It's like yes. Westbrook. Fi- finally, the yes. Lakers had to give, you know, Jeannie had to say, OK, I give up. I, I give the 27 first round pick to Utah to, to get out from under Russell Westbrook. Not that, not that yes. I'm comparing Aaron Rodgers and Westbrook, but the situations were similar. So to but me, sometimes- yeah, you, you got to take less no. to get rid. That's that. Now, see, now you speak in my language. Sometimes you just want it gone. Now, you're not going to get, listen, just because the Broncos did what they did with Russ, That's unbelievable. don't think somebody's going to yeah. make that same mistake. No. Because if you, look at, Skip, if you look at it, the Minnesota Timberwolves gave up more to get Rudy Gobert than Phoenix did to get Kevin Durant. I know, it's crazy. Just because you made a horrible mistake, don't that don't mean doing. I'm going to make it. Great point. I agree. I don't know what you're thinking. Sometimes you just, you just want it off your hands. Yes, yeah, Skip, you know what? It's worth a little bit more. But you know what? I just want it to be gone off my property. So if you're going to take it off my property, you can have it. Yeah. And I'll take, what are you willing to give me for it? There you go. Now, do we know for sure Jordan Love's going to be the next Aaron Rodgers? We don't. But, but they seem to like him, if not love him. So let's see. Plunge. Close your eyes and go with Jordan Love. Yeah, but Skip, you, you, can't, you can't be held hostage any longer by Aaron no. Rodgers. Cannot. He's, had, he's hijacked this organization. Agreed. Be done.